So I friend, this is Amit and you are watching my channel information and special video. So here I will consider the J Advanced 2022 that is all you need to know step by step everything I will be providing you that is the schedule, registration, registration as well as the fee detail, cutoff, document, eligibility everything I will be considering here only. So if you are first to my channel please try to subscribe this channel I can assure you if you will be joined with this channel you will be getting all the important update and information at the right time and also you will be getting the complete counseling guidance that is JOSA counseling is about to happen very soon so I will be guiding you completely so that you, uh, you will able to get the best college by the end of this year and it is not limited to only JOSA or CSEP counseling but for other counseling other entrance exam as well whatever you are doing this year for your BTEC admission. So if you want you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number there is a nominal charge for that but if you know everything about the counseling process and you feel confident about that you can do it by yourself but it is a very critical thing and you have to do it very carefully otherwise the students to your hard work will be vanished and the student will not able to get the best college because once you do mistake other will get the advantage of that. So it is very advisable to take the help of any experienced person and please try to subscribe this channel so that I will get some support from your side. So let's continue this video that is first of all talk about the overview must to get 23 IIT that is advanced exam is necessary if you will appear then only you will be getting the 23 IITs level in India and total 2.5 lakh student will be eligible for J advanced even the student who have appeared for J mains examination and fee for exam is 1.4 thousand for, uh, for female and SCST PWD candidate and 2.8 thousand for general candidate. And for exam and the exam will be having two paper that is paper one paper two you have to appear in both the paper in order to be considered for the rank list or to be uh, to get the IIT college and subject wise cutoff is available that I will discuss later in this video registration is same as J means so nothing to worry you have to just register by by providing your J means application number and password then they will ask you to upload the document that's it nothing to worry and you have to pay the fee so it is very simple you can do it by yourself I know that. So next is schedule. So here is the schedule that is tentative schedule. It may change because depending on the circumstances, it may change. So here is the information that is uh, registration for J advance as of now will be done from 7th of August up to 11th of August. And uh, the last date for fee payment is 12th of August. Admit card downloading will be available from 23 to 28th of August. And uh, a scribe facility uh, you have to do from 27th. It is for PWD and for PWD, I will be providing you a separate video, nothing to worry. And uh, J advanced exam as of now is, will be conducted on 28th of August that is paper 1 from 9 to 12 and paper 2 from 2.30 to 5.30 and uh, and, uh, rest, uh, and response it will be available on 1st of September as of now. You can check the different schedule I think it may change also because this year situation is a little bit critical about the third attempt so it may change if not then this schedule will be followed and the, and the result will be published on 11th of September JOSA counseling will be starting from 12th of September. So now let's talk about the eligibility that is very important uh, information and many students are confused in this so please try to listen my word very carefully and that is I have already uh, informed you 2 lakh for 50 thousand students will be considered for J advanced examination there may be one or 1.5 thousand students more than 2.5 lakh depending on depending on different type of uh, criteria they may uh, they may include more a student that is 1500 due to the equal ranking or equal type of marks. So as I said earlier 2 lakh 50 thousand students will be eligible for J advanced examination and different type of criteria is there that is different type of reservation available 10 percent for EWS category and 27 percent for OBC and CL 15 SC 7.5 per ST and uh, 5 percent horizontal reservation will be available for PWD content that is 5 percent from all the category. So here is the uh, numeric value that is number of students who will be eligible that is 1 lakh 1. 1250 students from general category that is 96,000 for uh, open and open PWD 5000. So here the important point for PWD content is that if you have solved any one question in the examination or you have if you haven't solved I think you are eligible for J advance because there will be at least 5000 5, student and 5% 5 of 250,000 is 12,000 a student but so there is no 12,000 student in PWD category only 2,000 2, or 2.5 thousand student. So it means every student will be eligible for the advanced examination. So nothing to worry until and unless you are not fulfilling the criteria you will not be allowed otherwise you will be getting the chance to appear in the advanced exam no matter how much marks or percentile you have got in JV. So, so uh, OBC and SC, ST everything you can check sidewise everything is available and uh, 
uh, candidates would have appeared in class 12 examination in 2021 or 2022 in this case you will be having no problem you will be automatically eligible for the j advance examination and there is no 75 percent criteria this year so you just need to pass the class 12 and you will be eligible for that and the student who have appeared in 2020 or earlier than that those are not eligible but there is a special case if your 2020 examination uh, result was published after october 15 then you may be eligible and also in case if you have uh, if you have registered for j advanced examination 2021 and you haven't appeared in any one of the paper that is paper one paper two then you will be automatically eligible for uh, j advanced 2022 you don't need to clear the j image examination so i think you got the complete information here same thing has been written that is uh, uh, 15th october as i as i have uh, informed you so you can read also and uh, the criteria two is age limit your age uh, your date of birth should be on or after first of october 1997 for scst student you will be younger even after five year also that is 19 uh, 1992 don't take it uh, personally this is a thing to discuss because how uh, the same type of a student will having the different type of different type of criteria i'm not pointing any type of thing for scst pwd student but for scst pwd student you will be considered uh, considered as a younger student even if your age is five year more that is first october 1992 or after that your birth date should be so next if you talk about the uh, number of attempt uh, two successive attempt is allowed for the j advanced examination more than two attempt is not allowed and uh, if you are already uh, have enrolled in iit college then you will be not eligible uh, one case is there that is if you have got the iit last year in the josa counseling but you uh, you haven't taken the admission uh, in the in the college that is by going to the college by providing the document in that case you will be eligible otherwise if you have taken the seat or if you have got the seat and taken the admission but you haven't continued your in your college then also you will be not eligible for that and uh, there is a different type of criteria also available you can read sidewise now let's talk about the document required for j advanced registration process and this is very important information please try to listen it very carefully so class 10 certificate if the date of birth is mentioned in it or birth certificate anything can be provided class 10 certificate or admit card also will be possible because it is used for your birth date only and class 12 or uh, equivalent certificate if uh, it is available if not then you may upload it later as well uh, and also uh, one more imp very important information that is suppose in j means uh, at uh, j means registration process you provided the wrong spelling of your of your name or wrong name in the registration process uh, then also you will be eligible but you just need to provide the affidavit for that that is the name should be same as compared to your class 10 certificate so i think you got the complete information and obviously category certificate will be required in the given format that is i have already provided the video about that you can check the j advanced website for the certificate format for general uh, for general no certificate will be required for ews obc scst there is different type of format available you need to make the certificate in that format and nothing to worry once you go into your nearest uh, block or the seal there they will take your original certificate and the format and they will fill the same detail there and they will provide you a stamp or signature that's it so now let's talk about the cutoff in order to be eligible for j advanced examination so for crl 10% marks that is minimum subject wise you need to have and minimum percentage of marks that is aggregate percentage 35% marks you, you need to have in order to be eligible for J advanced examination and J advanced examination marks uh, marks will be decided on the examination date only earlier no one will know that uh, what type of uh, what type of total marks will be there it can be 360 370 380 or 400 as well everything will be they uh, will be decided on the examination date as well obviously the paper will be ready before the examination itself but no one knows the information how much will be the total marks of the examination so for ews 9% and 31.5% for obc 9% again and 31.5% for SCST, PWD, everyone, 5% subject wise and 17.5% aggregate marks. And for uh, and for preparatory courses rank and for preparatory, it is applicable for SCST and PWD content. For detail about that, you can go to channel playlist that is PWD playlist. There is preparatory course uh, video link available. You can check that video. For that, 2.5% marks will be required at least and uh, minimum percentage of marks aggregate is 8.75%. So this was the complete information about J Advance 2022. It is everything I have discussed here. 
uh, the registration process, eligibility, fee detail, everything that you need to know about JE Advanced 2022. So, hope you find this information very useful for you. So, please try to subscribe to the channel so that you will be getting all the updated information at the right time in this same channel. For uh, everything that is uh, that is JME, JE Advanced, JOSA, CCAB, all other counseling, other interest exam also in this same channel. Thank you.